Now, before I get to today's fly, I got a really cool giveaway for y'all. I was recently contacted by Ron Sandblower, a fellow Marylander, who told me, hey, he's got something he'd like to send me that I could give away on the channel. I said, sure, what do you have in mind? And he said that he custom paints lots of things, but he wants to custom paint some tumblers and send them to me. Now I'm thinking, okay, that sounds pretty cool, but what I'm really envisioning is something like this mug that my daughter made me that says Happy Farter's Day on it. Seriously, she forgot the H and put an R in the wrong place, so Happy Farter's Day to me, <laughs> which my wife thought it was kind of appropriate, but anyway, I digress. And what I got in the mail last week absolutely floored me. First thing was this, this tumbler right here. Just check out this thing. Savage Fly's logo painted in brown trout colors. And this thing is just absolutely gorgeous. It's just really well done. Nice hard enamel on it. Beautiful, kind of metallic almost in spots paint job. Now this one's mine. I'm not giving this one away, but he also sent me one painted in rainbow trout colors. This thing right here, uh, no logo on this one, but still beautiful, you know, white bottom, purplish kind of pinkish stripe on the side and then the the silver and the black dots on top just absolutely gorgeous now before i tell you how you can win this rainbow trout one let me give you ron's contact information i'll put it in the description as well but his email is strutbuster217 at aol.com and you can reach him on his facebook page uh, snores custom creations okay so if you want to win this one just leave a comment. Anywhere in your comment, put hashtag Ron. That's a pound sign and then R-O-N. This video is going to be published Friday, January 27th, 2023. I'll let it run for a couple of days and say Sunday night. That's going to be January 29th. I'll go to the random comment picker and pick a comment that uses the hashtag Ron, and I'll get this thing in the mail to you. And oh yeah, I do have a fly for you today. It's a slick little rubber leg copper john. Nothing too crazy, but I really love this pattern. I've had some success with this thing in trout sizes, but also tied a little bit bigger and leave the legs a little bit longer fishing for panfish. You know bluegill just love anything with long crazy rubber legs. So I hope you'll give this thing a shot. It's a really cool fly. And I hope you'll reach out to Ron and tell him thanks for supporting the channel and our sport. So there's one in the vise, just a pretty generic rubber leg copper john. Not a whole lot to it, but can be a super effective pattern. Now I'm tying this on a size 14. This is a barbless curve shank hook. You can use a scud hook. I think this is actually a clink hammer. And that's 2.4 millimeter tungsten bead painted fluorescent orange. And I am gonna put a little bit of weight on it. It doesn't really need it but it will help hold that bead in place. That bead will flop all around on you if you're not careful. So about six wraps of 015. Now if you get it jammed in there, just put your thread down, put a little base right here behind this weight. This is a black in the 70 denier. I'll put, build it down behind it, a few wraps over it, take it back here to where I'm gonna catch in the tail. And the tail, just two dark goose biots brown's fine black would work i want to take two of these brown ones now i don't spend a whole lot of time fussing with these but i do try to lay them back to back to get them splayed out and what i'll do here is just put you got to pardon my nasty fingernail there this is a an injury that is taking weeks to recover so i'll lay them on either side of the hook a little bit toward my side and then a couple of loose wraps because these first wraps might you know push those biots back on top of the the hook so as long as you keep your splay out like that i think we're fine now we'll do some tight wraps going forward and i'm going to leave these right here just to help fill in this gap behind this weight so we'll do a few wraps right here just try to smooth this out now catch in our wire and i'm going to use traditional copper wire and this is a size medium so it's a little bit thicker than brassy and i'm going to catch it in right behind this weight on my side of the hook and try to carry it down, catch it in, parallel all the way back. Now bring our thread up here to where we're gonna stop wrapping the body and start the thorax. So about right there should work. And just wrap this, touch and turns all the way up to your thread. Okay, I think that's long enough for our body. Let's catch this off. And since my thread is so much thinner than this big, thick, medium wire, I'm gonna lay it forward, 
and then put a few wraps on top of this wire right here just to try to bind it in without mangling up my thread. And now I can either snip it or helicopter it off. And however you get rid of it, just make sure you don't leave a, a sharp nub right there. If you do, you're gonna to need to take some loose wraps to kind of bury it. But let's get the thread right in front of the, the weight. Now for this next component, just a slip of turkey feather. And I get my most mangled up feather I have, one that I'm probably not gonna use for anything else, and a pretty thin slip right here. I'm gonna just catch it in, maybe with the shiny side up, I don't think it really matters. But let's catch this in right here. And trying to keep it on top of the hook. Take my thread back. Now flip that over. Is that gonna give us the right size wing case? I think it is. Let's get rid of this excess up front. A few extra wraps, leave our thread right in the middle. Now let's catch in some legs. Now these legs I'm using, they're called a micro silicon leg. And they're really pretty cool. Take a look at all these I got right here. And I'll put a link to this in the description if I remember to. But they couldn't have been very expensive. I got them on Amazon and you know several different colors for probably pretty cheap. So worth checking out if you tie a lot of bugs with rubber legs. Okay, now that you got them positioned right there coming off either side, you can do a few tight wraps right here. Now let's put a little wax on our thread. And I'm gonna dub the thorax with, this is a cream rabbit with some orange uh, sow scud. So maybe half and half. You could use anything you want. You could use all synthetic or all natural, any color you want. And then we don't need a whole lot, but we do want the thorax to be, you know, a good bit thicker than that wire body. So that noodle is maybe two inches right there. And I'm gonna take a look, do I, can I get one wrap behind the legs? I think I can. And if you can, it's probably gonna look just a little bit better. And a couple of wraps in between them. And then we're gonna lift it up and do a, finish this head off with these right here. Now you could always put, right now, you know, put some kind of soft hackle legs or partridge or something. I haven't been doing that. So I think it's, you know, it's fishable enough and buggy enough as is. Now this next step, it's the only part that takes a little bit of dexterity, is pulling this wing case over, at the same time pulling these back. Now we'll put a couple of loose wraps right here, make sure we get this wing case positioned. Okay, I think that's gonna be fine. A couple of extra wraps, now we'll really lock it in. Go ahead and snip this excess turkey and save this little piece you're cutting off. That is enough for your next fly. Now we'll go ahead and do a whip finish and then take a look at these legs. They might need a little bit of trimming. Now, believe it or not, I've got a few in my box that look about like this and they work great for panfish. You know, big bluegill don't seem to mind crazy long legs. But since I'm gonna be trout fishing with this mostly, I will trim the legs and I'll make the front ones just a little bit shorter than the back ones. And that right there, that's actually a pretty good trout or a panfish size. So there you go, folks. Very simple rubber leg copper john. And again, you can make this in pretty much any kind of color combination you want. So I appreciate you watching everybody. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time.